Hi y'all, this is Regina again. I have a flamingo quilt block that I'm stitching out that will be a freebie in our group. Let me change colors. So this little flamingo has glasses, sunglasses on in the shape of a heart. Let me pan over here so you can see this design. There she is. And there are daisies for the quilting design. She is going to have flowers on top of her head. And I'll be back when I get some more stitched out. start doing the, fe the uh, flowers. The first flower is in yellow. flowers. Oops. All right, I got to resort that.
right, so it just finished stitching the center of the orange in white. Now we're back to yellow. finish the yellow flower and it's going to put teal in the center. At least that's what I put in it. I think it actually called for white, but I'll provide a color sheet. And we got to put a white in the center. And I just noticed I've got a little off, so I will take care of that fix that in the design and that's it so there's the finished flamingo quilt block hi y'all this is Regina again um, I'm doing a flamingo without the quilt or decorative fill behind it just the plain flamingo why does that color look salmon instead of pink very strange. Um, so this is the 4x4 four four design and like I said it has no decorative fill behind it. It takes uh, nine minutes to stitch and um, I can't remember how many colors there are but there will be a color change sheet. So this will go in to the group free group freebies and I'll be back when more of this is done. Alright, so this is color shot number three. And I put in here the wrong color. <laughs> it should be white. Okay. This is a real pink flamingo. All right, time for me to change colors again. All right, so now it's doing color shot number four, which are the sunglasses. Let me pause this and open over to the screen. All right, so here's the flamingo. Back over here watching it stitch. She'll have flowers on her head. She's a flower child. that was created when it started so. so it does little parts in the middle of glasses or part glasses change colors to a different pink, a lighter pink. Alright, so color stop number seven is the lighter pink. And this does like a little concentric type stitch for the 
the other part that it's clean and it's just a lighter color pink giving me kind of a different look and that's all there is to it so you've got to be careful what color thread uh, material you use because it could show through on this all right so colors the next few color stops are quick sews this is color stop number eight it's yellow like I said, I'll give you a color sheet. These are little flowers. Right, let me change colors to a aqua or a teal. All right, so color stop number nine is a teal or an aqua color, and it does two flowers. a four by four it's just so tiny when you do something like this they're almost indistinguishable all right so now to change colors to a peach for color stop number 10 coming up all right so i've got my peach or orange in it's just stitched something right in the middle of that yellow flower. And that wasn't very much. I guess because it's so tiny. And now it's going to do an orange flower. And it's going to go over and stitch an orange right in the center of that teal. Or aqua. That's fast on this 4x4. Four four. All right, one more color change to a light green. All right, so I've got my lime green in. And when I stitched this out earlier, I didn't like the order that it was stitching the flowers, so I changed the order and I did decide to use a different color for that flower right there. And it's going to stitch a green, so I'm just going to, I changed the color of the center of the orange, but you can see that it doesn't stitch very much in there. All right, so now I need to go back to yellow. All right, so I have yellow in now, and it's going to stitch inside a couple of these flowers. And you can remember that it doesn't do much. It's just getting the very tiny insides because <laughs> these flowers are so tiny for a four by four. And that's as big as I can get, get her. And then, is that the last one? That's the last one. Hang on a minute. All right, there she is. These are the colors I've used. Okay. And like I said, this is a freebie on the group. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so this is the 4x4 four four I just stitched. This is the quilt block, the 5x7 that I stitched earlier. This one will be free in the group. This will end up being a set of 4x4, 5x7, 6x10, 6x6, 8x8, and 8 and a half, a 7x12, 8x12, 8x12, sorry. Um, and they'll be plain and the quilt blocks with the quilting behind them. Let's see, there you go. They're daisies. All right, hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.